Hey guys, and welcome back today to episode number one, like the official first episode of Roy's Road to the Euros. Now in the last episode, if you haven't yet seen it, I make my predictions as to who I actually think Roy Hodgson is going to be taking on the plane. So uh, much to the disgruntlement of probably every England fan, maybe not Palace fans, Alan Pardew is, uh, is the manager. But this team that we've got right here is full of bronzes right now and today this episode is going to be focused around Everton. Now I said the first episode was going to be Arsenal, I thought if I did it in alphabetical order it would just be too predictable. I'm not going to tell you who the next episode is about but today we've got an Everton fan sending in a video. Who does he want us to put on the aeroplane? Hey George, the three Everton players that I think Roy should take to the Euros are of course the three defenders. We've got John Stones, Phil Jagielka and Leighton Baines. Jags is Everton captain and our best defender. Stones is not far behind him, an excellent prospect for the future. And Leighton Baines has still got it. Maybe he mightn't be the first choice left back anymore, but he's a very, very good player. You can maybe play him CDM, you can maybe play him out on the wing if you want a bit more going forward. And then for the fourth one for the challenge, who else but Ross Barkley. So if you want to unlock that inform Ross Barkley, as he's got five star weak foot, I'm going to give you a weak foot challenge. So I want you to hit the crossbar from the edge of the box with your weak foot within 10 attempts. So can you do it? I'm not so sure. But if you do, you'll get yourself an inform Ross Barkley. Well, for those of you guys who don't know him, that was Andy or AJ3FIFA. Link to his channel will be down in the description. The first three players that he wants me to take onto the plane are going to be John Stones, Phil Jagielka and Leighton Baines. Now, looking at this bronze team right here, we've got, well, we've, we've got some players... I, Rochdale. We, we've got lots of Rochdale bronze players. Oliver Lancashire is... I'm going to give him the captaincy role right now. Our left back is Scott Tanzer. You know, these guys are quite fortunate right now. They've actually got a place on Roy Hodgson's England aircraft. By the time it comes to actually finishing this series, these guys are going to be long in the memory. But who knows, you know, if these bronze players actually deliver, maybe we'll keep them in the squad. So the first match is going to be playing for John Stone, second for Jagielka, third for Baines. You get the idea. And then after that, we're going to be doing the challenge. Now, the challenge is obviously based around Ross Barkley. I will remind you guys, once we've played these matches, exactly what Andy wants me to do. Weak foot crossbar, eh? I mean, I've got my rascal hoodie on. Thank you, boys, for sending this to me, by the way. So technically, if I'm wearing the full tracksuit, which I am. Yep, we've been uh, searching for opponents now for... 10 minutes. This does fill me with a little bit of worry. We're gonna we're gonna obviously use the England kit after this episode, but for the first match we're gonna be using the Scunthorpe kit. I will change that in the next game, I promise, because this is just not good preparation from me. But good news, we're up against the bronze team. We're up against two golds. Um, what's the guy's name? Vargas on the right, I believe, and the striker I do not know. I should have probably looked at my players' first names. We're just gonna call them by their surnames. Woods, Platt. Oh, that's a good ball. To Oates. To blooming Quaker Oats. Oh, oh Tanza, this is good. Tanza Kaduro. McCready gives it back to Tanza to make it 1 0. Good defending. Oh, it's come back to McCready. This is a good start from us. Oh, no. Finish. Oh, what a save. Platt, that's nice. McCready now to Barnard. Let's go, Barnard. Hit that. Oh, that was not far away. This is nice. Come on. Oats is there. Nice pass to Barnard. Barnard's going to whip one. Oh, we're getting close. Let's go then, McCready. There is Oates in front of him. Murphy's making a run. This guy's got a bit of pace about him. What can he do? He can get inside. This is nice. It's Murphy for the first goal. Yes, come on. It's a poor mistake from the keeper. First goal of the series goes to our man Murphy. Remember, if we win all three matches in this episode, we'll actually have 13 attempts of hitting the crossbar to unlock that informed Barkley as opposed to 10. So if we win two, we get 12. If we win one, we get 11, 13, and so on and so forth. Let's go. Okay, through ball, Mr. Porridge. Can he score his first goal? No, he can't. Two nil though, get in. Second goal of the episode. Who is that who managed to get on the end of it? I think it was the other striker. It was Lee Barnard with his first goal for the club. Both the strikers have had good games, to be honest. We're two nil up. Let's go, Lee Barnard. He's basically Jamie Vardy. Look at him. Oh! Lee Barnard makes it 3-0, his second of the game, he's on a hat-trick, come on, let's see how many we can get. There we go. And there he is, 77 rated, Jonathan Stones is the first goal player to step into this club. We are going to wedge him in the reserves and then... Oh, brilliant. Just what we wanted, a full goal team. Going to need a big game out of our man of the match from match day number one, Mr. Jacob Murphy. And he's already managed to get himself around the back here. This could be a very, very good start for England. Through ball, Lee Barnard. Oh, my word. Two minutes into the game, the third minute. And we lead 1-0 thanks to Lee Barnard's goal. That's his third goal for England. 
He, he's a legend already. Okay, here's Platt. He's played in. Mr. Oates. Can he play in O'Halton? Yes, he can for 2 0. It's 2 0 to England. Absolutely brilliant. O'Halton with his first goal for England. This is an unbelievable start to this episode. Five goals with no reply, and we're beating this full goal blooming rare team 2 0 after 16 minutes. This is very, very good indeed. Now, Koke looking to get the whatever this guy's name is. Oh, okay, that, that's that's pretty. Oh, McCready, that's nice to Platt. Barnard, oh, can he sneaky? John Stones, that is why you were on the plane in my first episode. He's given the ball to O'Halton, that's... Oh, what a tackle. That has got to be tackle of the year for McCready. He's also played in a through ball to Lee Barnard, who is onside. What can he do from this position, though? Pulls it back nicely, gives it to McCready, the guy who... Oh, that would have been literally... McCready, can he hit one? He's had a brilliant game. Deserves a goal. But it's a goal kick. We're still 2-1 up, though. We're playing very, very well indeed. We dominated the shots. We've had four times the amount of shots that Harvey Kiwi, Kiwi Boy has had. Let's go, then. Quaker Oats. That's brilliant. Oh, go on. Go on, son. Okay, this is nice. Here's Oates. Can he get his first goal? It's Oates. Brilliant save from Bravo. We get ourselves a corner with eight minutes to go. We've just got to hold on. If we can get another goal, it will be beyond doubt. That is an awful cross, and that leaves us a little bit scarce at the back come on england we can do this we can do this griezmann's their danger man we just cannot let him see the ball and vidal he's got the pace he's round the back johnston he's what a save what a bloody save yes come on we have won two one in match number two and not only do we beat not only do we unlock jagielka but we're also virtually on the way to promotion and winning the title here in Division 10, which is just the perfect start. Obviously, next, we're trying to get Leighton Baines, and that would already make an almost Everton fullback line. Please, just let me put... This is the third time I've had to put Jagielka in the squad now. Okay, what are we going to be up against in match number three? Can we make it a clean sweep? We're up against a very strong team yet again. I'm not sure if we're going to get as lucky with the opponent as we had in match number two. This is obviously for Leighton Baines, to get Leighton Baines into the squad. Ah, oh, okay, good goal. The first time in the series, we we're 1-0 down. Loic Remy, you don't want to be giving him the ball. That is very poor, because Oscar is now in. Ah, great, keeper came out. We are 2-0 down. No, no, oh, bugger. Oh my word, that is a stunning, Stunning goal from Fernandinho. We're 4-0 down. We've been absolutely battered. But after the brilliance of the first two games, I think Leighton Baines, although he's not going to be in the squad for until at least episode six, we've just got to, you know, just take it as it comes, really. We've made a very good start to life in the Roy's Road to the Euros here. The end of the final match of the episode where we were looking to get Leighton Baines into the team. Unfortunately, we've been comprehensively been beaten 4-0 by a much superior side. Now... It says I've lost two games, and that is because I actually played one league match on this account before I started this series and I lost it. So that's why it says I've lost two. Basically, it's not a bad start to the episode. We've won two out of the three matches. I now have to go into the Ross Barkley Challenge, and if you've forgotten what it was, here's what Andy challenged me to do again. For the fourth one, for the challenge, who else but Ross Barkley? So if you want to unlock that informed Ross Barkley, as he's got five star weak foot, I'm gonna give you a weak foot challenge. So I want you to hit the crossbar from the edge of the box with your weak foot within 10 attempts. So can you do it? I'm not so sure, but if you do, you'll get yourself an inform Ross Barkley. Okay then, so Andy has challenged me to the Ross Barkley weak foot, which is my left foot, to try and hit the crossbar in 10 attempts. Now, because we won two matches in the Ultimate Team games, I've actually got 12 attempts of hitting the crossbar. If I hit it, we get in form Ross Barkley. If I don't, well, we don't get him. Simple as that, really. So let's go. Attempt number one. I'm far away. That wasn't awful. I think this is the ball, though. That was bad. Number three. Ah! Number four. I want to get some lift on these. That's four really bad ones. Come on. Yeah! Okay! Come on! Challenge number one completed in five different attempts. That was impressive, I'm proud of that. So we get in form Ross Barkley. Thank you Andy for getting the challenge in. Be sure to check him out in the description. Let's go put Barkley in our team. So then, I've successfully completed the challenge, which is brilliant news. It means that I can put in form Ross Barkley 
into my team. Now, at the start of the next episode, you're going to see me add Ross Barkley into the team. The next episode, I'm not going to tell you what club it is yet, but it's another club that have got a really, really exciting player that I could be potentially putting into this team in the next episode. Very exciting stuff. And obviously, the way Lee Barnard's going, you know, he scored a couple of goals here and there. And if he gets to 10, then he actually gets a chance of staying in the squad for longer then I am actually unlocking the Premier League strikers, if that makes sense, the goal players. So if Barnard actually gets to 10, whenever he does get to 10, the closest striker that I'm going to be trying to play for, I'll have to do a challenge between Barnard versus that guy in real life football. I'll be obviously going on the internet looking for a goal that that player has scored that I've got to try and replicate. All of the information in terms of the rules is down below. If there's anything that you're not sure of, be sure to go and check the description where I've got a comprehensive list of rules. And as well as that, if you have any further questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching the first like, official episode of Roy's Road to the Euros. It's been a very, very fun episode and we've done not too badly at all. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you all next time. Bye. We are in luck with a perfect location to film the video. We just got to hope the caretaker doesn't arrive and be like, get off the pitch, boys. You're going to ruin my goalpost by putting Lucozade bottles in the net. We're not. We're just people that want to play football.